The number of things your finance team has to do is either very large or astounding. Let's look at how Kanban tool can be used to make their work easier. Here is an example of a small size financial team's workflow visualized in Kanban tool. The team is managing the company's expenses separated into purchasing and bills. They also keep an eye on the budget. Workflow stages are left as quite general since more information is being provided by the card types and details. Types of cards are purchase, reimbursement, service billing, and budget. The simplest way to get incoming tasks organized is to set an appropriate type and due date for each one, so that as soon as you open the board, you see what kinds of tasks await you and which need doing first. You can also switch on the calendar widget to better visualize due dates. Using Kanban Tool's additional functionality, we can make work run even more smoothly for this team. Everyone working with finance will encounter tasks that need doing on a regular basis. So instead of creating them periodically, let's set them to be popping up on the board on their own at the exact times they're needed on a daily, weekly, or monthly basis. This can be done with recurring tasks. All repeating bills and the entire payroll can be kept on track this way. There will also be a more specific process for each type of task. A number of steps that need following when setting new budget, another set of steps for processing a purchase order, etc. For this, checklist templates are a must-have power-up. It will let you create readily available lists to be added to tasks on your demand with one click. Also, since Kanban is all about visual management, it will be helpful to keep your board view limited to the tasks valid today only, not those that can wait another week or month. The best way to achieve this clarity is through board filters. Choose what jobs interest you and view those alone. Similar board size limitation can be made via postponing tasks to disappear from the board until a set time, when you do need to see them. Thanks to this, your mind stays calm, knowing the work has been planned, but the board stays more lightweight and easier to read for the time being. For much larger workloads, we'd recommend arranging a dedicated board per given activity, separate for buyers, payroll, accounting, invoicing, and so on. By doing this, it will also be easier to limit which teams have access to what types of data. From there on, the arrangement of the boards can take any shape you need. Just keep in mind to always start with the basics and build on them as your workflow becomes more complex or you need more control over each step. Changes mid-process are not a problem in Kanban Tool. By visualizing and managing your work on a Kanban Tool board, you make the team's job a lot easier. You're making sure their productivity is optimal. All deadlines are met and all of your data is kept in one place, easy to find, follow, and use.